Hello, accounts. Yeah, hello. I'm looking for Keith Graham. Speaking. Mr. Graham. Uh huh. It's Bill Porter speaking from the, the mini bus and coach service. Right. I have to ask yeah. about drunkenness. Is this for the cup final? You'll note that the bus had no toilet. That's right, uh huh. And you, you, at one point you'd pulled in uh, <coughs> beef eaters. That's correct, yeah. We've just been billed from them for usage of the toilet and abuse to the staff. Uh, by who though? Well, people that were in your party. Right, well it wasn't me that booked the bus for a kick-off. And the boy was an hour late as well. We wanted to be be there for about quarter past two and we never got there till three o'clock. That was Fred Harper, he's our top man. Top man at what? Driving the buses. Did you get to the game? Ah, I got to the game, aye. Well, but the, the, it wasn't just about the game, it was about the whole day. The... It's not a day out, it's a, it's a game of football. you you got to watch the game, well, no? Well, it's not really. It is a day out as well, because when was the last time? I was going on a Scottish Cup final. It's back in the 70s, I suppose. Aye, 30 we'll, years ago. Well, there you are, they gave you a bus to match. Well, at the, bottom, the end of the day, I'll not be paying £175 plus fat. This company sued people before, and they'll sue you. Well, I'll, I'll see you in court then. I went in, used the toilet and left. I think a couple of folk maybe went to the bar and bought a drink. That was about it. And they didn't pay for it? Absolute rubbish. So they stole the drinks, did they? They went in behind the bar and stole the drinks. I'm not a football fan. I know little about football, but I see it every time in the papers and on TV news headlines. Troublemakers. You can't say that all football supporters are troublemakers. The ones in this bus were. <laughs> Aye, well, you're talking crap. I, I went into the bus the next day, uh -huh. and it was smelling of pash. I'm actually surprised that bus got us there. The thing was faunty, but... You see, I take that very personally. Well, so you should. I'm surprised it gets an MOT. The bus was a disgrace. That was one of our top buses. <laughs> well, you can be a very successful company if that's one of your top buses. It's one of the worst buses I've been on. That 175 is going to have to be paid. Aye, well, you can whistle for that, because you'll not be getting that for me. I can whistle for it? Is that what you're saying? Aye. That's what, have, that's... You, have you tried getting pash off seats? That's rubbish. And again, it's obviously hadn't been used since the last cup final in 19, 1980. This bus has, has transported royalty before. Right. Uh, bottom line, what are you going to do about it? Sue you. Sue me? Sue your ass. For how much, exactly? Uh, I want 175 on our, on costs. Well, the costs, what, well, plus VAT, plus cleaning materials, what? A lot of cleaning materials. We used that already. Get the pash off the seats. Right, well, I'll tell you what, on you go, you do what you have to do, you fire out a letter. I think your attitude, you, your attitude stinks like the bus seats. Well, thankfully, I never have to get on a bus like that again, or that same bus. That bus should just have been heading for the scrappies. That's dis disgraceful. You wash your mouth out saying that about my company. Well, if you're you didn't nothing but a thug. If you didn't. Oh, I'm a thug now, am I? I'm a thug, I don't think so. Well, I'll speak to John Maltman, get some sense out of him. <laughs> He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he knows he know he knows what's going on in the world. I don't believe He that. knows what radio show to listen to in the morning. <laughs> I was at the exact same moment. I'm in every morning and talk about the wind up. <laughs>